going to be doing my book outlet boxing day sale um, book haul and you know I got quite a few books from the sale uh, they had a very good deal the more money you spent the more money you got off and let's just say I spent less than $50 nine of that was shipping <laughs> that's how much I got um, but I got some really good deals so I just want to jump right into it so this video is not forever long um, the first book that I grabbed is Once We Were Brothers. This is by Ronald H. Balson. Um, this follows Elliot, who is a civic leader and a wealthy philanthropist, who is approached at a fundraiser um, by someone called Ben Solomon, and he is Ben accuses Elliot of being this infamous um, Nazi officer. Um, Elliot is acquitted of those charges, and um, Ben is just trying... He's convinced that Elliot is this infamous um, Nazi officer so he's trying everything he can to um, prove this and in the meantime he uncovers some very um, some very crazy crazy things so I'm kind of I'm really excited about this I love World War II stories and um, you know there's just some very um, good I've heard some very very good things about this book Alright, um, the next book that I picked up was Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the uh, Reckoners trilogy and um, it follows a boy named David who is trying to um, get revenge on Steelheart which is kind of like the villain I think. So it's like a superhero fantasy book and that's all I need to know. I think it's middle grade, I think. I could be wrong on that, but um, I love Brandon Sanderson. I read The Final Empire by him, and that's all I've read, but that's all I needed to read. He's, you know, whenever I see, like, his books, I get excited because I just know that they're going to be amazing, so I'm really, really excited about that. Um, I also picked up the other two books in that trilogy. We have Firefight, which is book two, and Calamity, which is the third and final book. So I have the whole trilogy here now, and I could be more excited because I'm just, like I said, very excited about this. So I don't know what these two are about, and I'm not going to look because I don't want to spoil it for myself. Uh, the next book that I have, and I hate this cover, but it was super cheap, and I've been wanting this book for a while, is The Magicians by Lev Grossman. This is the TV show edition cover because um, it's now a TV show. This is a trilogy, and basically it's about a group of kids who um, are accepted into this, like, magical college. So the way I think of it is, like, Harry Potter-esque, but on a college level. So excited about this. I heard the TV show is really good, and I'm hoping the books are just as good, or if not better. And then I was really excited to see this on there. This is the program and the treatment by... Suzanne Young. This is the duology box set. I think I got it for like eight dollars or something crazy. Um, so basically this just follows. Um, this is a world where suicide is an epidemic. In order to combat that the government comes up with something called the program where they take teenagers and they try to battle depression. And they lock them away um, in this facility and it doesn't sound like it's the greatest place to be. Um, it follows a couple who is trying everything in their power not to be placed into the program because they don't want to be there um, just because they've heard horrible things about it and um, so yeah it's like dystopian-esque I guess and I'm really excited and I have the whole you know duology here now and then I have another duology I think it's a duology and I don't know which order they go in but I have Daughters of Rome this is by Kate Quinn and Mistress of Rome again by Kate Quinn. Um, I don't know much about it. I just know it's based in Rome. I love historical fiction. There's like intrigue and um, you know there's just all of the things that you look for like mystery and murder and romance and all of that is in um, these books. So I've heard Nicole talk about them multiple times on her channel, The Girly Girl Bookworm. You guys should check her out. I'll link it down below. And I saw these on there and I just figured, why not? And they're good, like, fluffy-esque reads. So, like, if I don't want to read something heavy or want something that I can read through pretty quickly, I think these would be it. And then I have Persuasion. This is book two in the Heirs of Watson Island. The first book is called Compulsion. I'm actually planning on reading that book this month. Um, so this is the sequel to that. I saw that on there, and it just came out, I think, last year in 2016. So I was really excited. Um, I think it's going to be a trilogy. So basically it follows a girl 
whose mother dies and she is sent to live with her aunt on Watson Island in South Carolina. Um, when she gets there, she finds out her family is being held captive by like this ancient curse um, and she's trying, she doesn't want to be part of this legacy so she's trying to get out of it. So excited to read the first one. Eventually I will pick this one up as well. Oh, and it's by Martina Boone, if I didn't say that before. And then I have the Dark Day Days Club. I was really excited to see this one on here because, again, I think this one came out last year as well. This is by Allison Goodman. She wrote Eon and, e Eon and Eona, which I own but I've never read. Um, so this basically follows a girl in the 1800s. Her name is Helen. She's just getting ready to be presented to society, and her maid goes missing, so she goes on you know, an adventure to try to figure out what happened because not only did her maid go missing, but apparently there's like mystery surrounding her parents' death. So she is trying to find out what happened. So she gets mixed up in some people that aren't, don't have the best reputation and, um, and then adventure ensues from there. But, um, you know, this is book one, so there will be more. I just don't know if it's going to be a trilogy or a duology, but I'm intrigued. And I saw a lot of people haul it last year but I haven't seen a review on it, so I don't know. All right, I'm getting down to the last two here. Um, they had Lair of Dreams there by Libba Bray. This is the second book in the Diviners series, duology, I'm not sure. Um, I've never read the Diviners, um, but I know it's like spooky, set in New York. Um, I don't really want to look at the synopsis because I don't want to ruin myself, but um, it's like a mystery but it's spooky. There's like some paranormal aspects and it's set in New York City in like the 1920s, I believe. Again, um, I love like mysteries and I love the 1920s and I've heard fantastic things about it. So when I saw this on there, I had to pick it up. All right. And the final book that I have, which I know nothing about, but I've heard great things, is Jane Steele. This is by Lindsay Fay. Um, this book actually just came out, I think. Again, it's like a newer release. Um, and it's inspired by Jane Eyre by Char Charlotte Bronte. Um, so this girl like escapes her horrible aunt and cousin and like goes on to live her life and then finds out that her aunt and cousin die so she takes this job with the new family that lives in the household and she finds all these like secrets and um just these things that she never knew about so she just starts dis discovering these things um so i think w the way i gathered it is like a dark loose retelling of jane Eyre, like a darker version of that so really excited about that and i've heard great things and actually i think this book was on like everyone's best books of 2016 this this past you know at the end of the year here so those are all the books that I got from the Book Outlet Boxing Day sale. Um, did you guys buy anything? Um, let me know what you got down below. Link your videos, your blog posts. Just let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it. I like to talk to you guys, but I don't get a lot of uh, comments, so that's a little disheartening. Um, but yeah, just let me know what you guys are reading or what you've bought or if you participate in that Boxing Day sale. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ow! Hello, you're in my video now. Yes. <laughs> Sorry guys, my dog wants to be in the video. <laughs> She's probably going to jump right on into my face, so I apologize. Alright, so the next book that I grabbed is Steelheart by Brandon Sanderson. This is the first book in the Reckoners trilogy. Um, <laughs>